Hey guys, in this video, I am going to explain all of the things that I want my fellow Ruby users need to know. First is Ultimate plus Flicker combo, you know the rules, when there's an update, they fixed the past bugs but there will be a new bug as well. I am happy to announce that Flicker combo still works. When it comes to build, I highly suggest that you need to at least build War Axe and Blade of Despair, because of the new effect of Antique Cuirass, that lower enemies physical attack by 8% and can be stack up to 3 times when you get hit by enemy skill. It means that, when enemy uses this item then they can lower Ruby's damage up to 24%. This new Antique Cuirass is the best item to counter skill based hero just like Ruby. Now, it is not only Dominance Ice that Ruby have to consider countering, Ruby have 2 weakness now. That is the reason why I suggest building Blade of Despair because of its high physical attack. So even Antique Cuirass lower your damage, you can still have a decent amount of damage. War Axe increase your physical attack and physical penetration, so it will be even, even Antique Cuirass lower your physical attack. If you build those two items then it is not only Antique Cuirass that you are countering but you are also countering Dominance Ice. Because, the more damage you have, the more lifesteal you get. Increasing your physical lifesteal and spell vamp, is really not recommended against someone who uses anti-life region. So I highly suggest that you build damage instead. One lifesteal build is enough in my opinion. I know that it would be hard for us Ruby users to play Ruby now because of the constant updates, but I am here to help you enjoy your favorite hero Ruby. If you ask me why not build Endless Battle, Endless Battle give you just a small amount of lifesteal. It's true that its true damage can help you penetrate against any defense build but it won't help you increase your lifesteal. And we know that we can't use the unique passive of Endless Battle all the time, so it won't be useful in a long-lasting clash. The only thing I consider about Endless Battle is its mana regeneration and bonus movement speed. After the past updates, Ruby's skill mana cost was decreased, so mana regeneration is not really something that Ruby needs anymore. War Axe can also give me movement speed so I see no reason why I have to buy Endless Battle. In fact, I already have a bonus movement speed with my Assassin Emblem. In our picking, my teammates are trash talking so hard. And now, they are already giving up just for a 7 kill gap. That is one thing that you should avoid. If your team starts getting toxic then try to stop the toxicity, just letting it go won't do anything. I am saying this just based on my experience. Stopping the toxicity does actually increase your chances of winning especially in solo rank.
lane. 